Do you ever confuse dessert and desert or mix up effect and effect? Think you can tell the difference between these words? Let's find out! Hey friends, today is the last quiz in a series of four quizzes. If you want to get my workbook on how to pass a job interview in English and a job interview cheat sheet, comment of each of these four videos and contact me. All the information is given below. I would send you the business English materials that would upgrade your English. Without further ado, let's start. Let's do it! In this quiz, we will focus on commonly confused words in English. What do we have to do? Select the word that completes the sentence accurately and appropriately. Sentence number one. Effect, effect. Sunny weather always has a positive effect on my mood. That's true! I needed to include this pair in this test. Not only for you, but also for me. I make this mistake too. Really? And the right answer is... Yes! Here is a pro tip for you. The article and the adjective indicate that we need a noun. It's more complicated than that, but most of the time, effect is a noun, effect is a verb. That's the most important thing to remember. If you want me to make a separate video on these confusing words, comment below. When something affects you, you feel the effect. Exactly. The second sentence. Dessert, desert. I would never desert my dessert in the desert. That is the craziest sentence, but give it a try. Holy guacamole! Dessert, desert. I give up! Desert is dry land with few plants and little rainfall. <laughs> Why are you crying? It's so sad! No plants, no water! <laughs> Don't worry, some of the most prosperous countries like the USA, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Australia have deserts as part of their territories. Really? Yes. Is it possible to cross the desert on food? Definitely. There are some adventurers that do that. But you will get thirsty walking in the desert, right? It's a tough challenge. Wait. Desert is a noun. It's all the same. I would never desert, desert my desert in the desert. But it's a verb, right? Right you are. Desert can also be a verb, meaning to go away from a place, to leave, to abandon, usually without intent to return. For example, to desert a town. Give me your example. I had to desert my car in the desert. Good! Desert with two S is a noun. For example, Clara offered the berry dessert, but surprisingly, Fred refused. Refused? Is he crazy? Berry, dessert, refused. Maybe Fred noticed that desserts affect his weight and he wants to change his diet. Fred is nuts. Dessert, that is my favorite word. I can give you thousands of examples. This tiramisu is a rich dessert with a festive flavor. Coffee and tea will be served with dessert. We had ice cream and apple pie for dessert. The restaurant features an extensive dessert menu. You always, remember, you always need to save some room for dessert. Okay, thank you. That's plenty of examples. Let's get back to our sentence, shall we? Can you fill in the gaps now? I sure can. I would never desert my dessert in the desert. 
Good job, Beverly! Yay! Sentence number three. Break, break. Don't break the brake by hitting it too hard. Break. Both of these words are nouns and verbs. The verb break with ea means to crack, split, or destroy, to separate into pairs with suddenness or violence. To break the chocolate bar in half. A break is a device to slow a moving object. Slow car down by pressing the brake pedal. She took her foot off the brake. How do you remember the difference between them? The context and the sentence structure will help you to choose. I will make a separate video on this pair to cover all the notions. Okay. Question number four. Is this sentence correct? Local people produce produce and sell it at the market. They look exactly the same. I know. Mm, no. And the right answer is... Produce means to make or create something. An example would be, France produces a lot of wine. Okay. Belgium produces a ton of delicious chocolate. Right. Another meaning of this word is fresh fruits and vegetables. For example, I buy fresh farm produce each week at the market. Can you think of a sentence example? Remember Fred. Fred needs to grow his own produce and to eat it every day in order to see the effect of the diet. That's a great example. Thank you, Beverly. And you? Yes, I'm talking to you. Why don't you write your example in the comments? And here comes the last sentence of today's quiz. Let's make it about Fred, who decided to get back in shape and to start walking regularly. He walked the gate, a beautiful field. He came to the other side of the field and there was the tree-covered hill. He walked the trees uphill to reach the crest with a breathtaking view, the valley. Ready. Okay, through. Okay. Through, across, through, across. And that is. The right answer. Wow, I got all the answers right here. Yes. How many right answers have you got? Write in the comments. We use both prepositions to talk about movement. Across means on the other side of something or from one side to the other of something. For example, we saw them walking across the street. If we use through, the movement is in something while surrounded by something such as long grass or a forest we use through instead of across in this case. She walked through the door across the room. He walked through the gate across a beautiful field. He came to the other side of the field and there was the tree covered hill. He walked through the tree uphill to reach the crest with 
the breathtaking view across the valley. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to get a new lesson every week. Just down there. And don't miss the next video. It's gonna be an interview with the polyglot. See you in the next video. Bye. I see that you're making progress because you're watching my videos. Keep doing that. Thank you for your support. Right, Freddy? Do you agree with me? Do... You're...